Welcome to a cinematic journey that might stir memories and reflections. Have you ever pondered upon the first encounter with the 1965 film, The Collector? Perhaps it was a quiet night in, a recommendation from a friend, or a chance stumble upon its captivating narrative. Share your initial experience in the comments below. We're eager to hear your unique stories. The Collector, directed by William Wyler, is a psychological thriller that weaves a chilling tale of obsession and captivity. The film follows the unsettling relationship between an introverted butterfly collector and his unsuspecting victim. As you revisit this classic, is there a specific scene or moment that left an enduring imprint on your mind? Movies often have a way of etching themselves into our memories, shaping our perspectives, and evoking emotions that linger. Before we delve into some intriguing facts about the film, take a moment to reflect on your most cherished memory or personal experience associated with The Collector. Your stories add depth to the collective appreciation of this cinematic gem. Now, let's uncover some lesser-known facets of the film. Did you know that despite its tense and ominous atmosphere, the collector was praised for its nuanced exploration of the character's psyche? It's a testament to the director's skill in creating an atmosphere of suspense without resorting to gratuitous violence. As we navigate through the nuances of the collector, share your thoughts and memories below. Your perspectives contribute to the vibrant tapestry of experiences that surround this timeless piece of cinema. What's your story with The Collector? We would love to hear your memories and reflections in the comments below. The Collector, a 1965 psychological thriller film directed by William Wyler, unfolds a chilling narrative centered around Frederick Clegg, a socially awkward and obsessive butterfly collector. Adapted from John Fowle's novel of the same name, the film traces Clegg's dark descent into kidnapping and imprisoning Miranda Gray, an art student, in his secluded countryside home. The narrative weaves a psychological cat and mouse game as Miranda attempts to escape while grappling with the complexities of her captor's disturbed mind. Terence Stamp and Samantha Egger deliver powerful performances, capturing the intensity and psychological nuances of their characters. The film's distinctive narrative style, marked by tension-filled silence and minimalistic settings, creates an unsettling atmosphere that heightens the psychological impact. The Collector resonates beyond its time, leaving an indelible mark on the thriller genre with its exploration of the human psyche and the consequences of unchecked obsessions. The film's influence can be observed in subsequent works that draw inspiration from its psychological depth and atmospheric tension, solidifying its place as a classic in cinematic history. In a brief yet intriguing detail from The Collector, director William Wyler strategically inserted two cutscenes into the film's theatrical trailer. The first showcases Samantha Egger engaged in conversation, her left hand casually resting on the back of her head. The second unfolds with Egger seated by a window, rain falling outside. These subtle additions provide a glimpse into the meticulous crafting of the movie's atmosphere. While the film delves into the psychological abyss of Frederick Clegg's obsession, it's noteworthy that during one of Miranda's moments on screen, she passes by a cinema showing Ben-Hur. The connection is more than incidental. Director William Wyler, the visionary behind The Collector, also directed the epic Ben-Hur. This intertextual nod adds a layer of cinematic resonance, subtly tying the works together through shared directorial brilliance. Moreover, the film's impact extends beyond the realm of cinema. The song Prosthetics by death metal, alternative metal band Slipknot draws significant inspiration from The Collector. The haunting themes and psychological intensity of the movie find a musical echo in this composition, demonstrating the enduring influence that the film has exerted across diverse artistic mediums. In conclusion, The Collector not only captivates with its chilling narrative, but also leaves an indelible mark on popular culture. From carefully crafted cutscenes to intertextual references and musical inspirations, the film's influence reaches far and wide, solidifying its place as a timeless classic in the annals of cinematic history. Composer Bernard Herrmann, known for his iconic work with Alfred Hitchcock, was originally slated to score The Collector. However, director William Wyler opted for Morris Jarre, allegedly stating, I don't want to use a hitchman. This behind-the-scenes decision not only shaped the film's musical landscape, but also reflected Wyler's deliberate choice to diverge from the familiar. Jar's score, distinct from Herrmann's signature style, contributes to the film's unique atmosphere. 
Interestingly, the casting of Miranda Gray went through several considerations. Natalie Wood and Tuesday Weld both declined the role, paving the way for Samantha Egger to embody the captive art student. This casting shuffle had a profound impact on the film's dynamics, shaping Egger's portrayal of Miranda and influencing the audience's perception of her character. Beyond the film, the collector's reach extends into the realm of music. The Jam, a British mod group, drew inspiration from the movie for their song The Butterfly Collector. Serving as the B-side to their hit single Strange Town, the song not only attests to the film's enduring influence but also showcases its resonance across different artistic expressions. In summary, the lesser-known facets of The Collector, from the composer switch to casting decisions and musical tributes, enrich the narrative of this psychological thriller. These intricacies contribute to the film's lasting impact on both cinema and music, highlighting the nuanced choices made behind the scenes that shaped its distinctive character. Samantha Egger's experience during the making of the film The Collector was marked by challenging circumstances. Contrary to her claims of the entire production relocating due to director William Wyler catching a cold in London, the shift from England to California stemmed from studio concerns about controlling costs during foreign shoots. It's essential to debunk misconceptions surrounding the film's production, as Egger's assertions appear to be more fiction than fact. According to Terence Stamp, who worked alongside Egger in the film, Weiler employed unconventional methods to extract a compelling performance. Reportedly, Egger was restricted from leaving the set during the day and forbidden from sharing lunch breaks with the rest of the crew. Stamp reveals Weiler's calculated approach, whispering to him that such measures were aimed at eliciting an outstanding performance from Egger. This sheds light on the director's unconventional tactics to mold the actors into their roles. Interestingly, the original plan for the collector was to film it in black and white. This departure from the final color presentation adds a layer of artistic decision-making to the film's production history. The shift in color scheme could have significantly impacted the visual tone and atmosphere of the narrative, highlighting the meticulous choices made in crafting the film's aesthetic. In examining these behind-the-scenes aspects, it becomes evident that the collector was not just a product of its narrative, but a result of intricate decisions and challenges faced during its creation. From the choice of filming location to directorial methods, and even the initial decision on color, each aspect contributes to the film's unique character and enduring impact. As we close the curtains on our journey through the enigmatic tale that is The Collector, I urge you to linger in the echoes of its narrative. Let the intricate dance between captor and captive continue to resonate within the chambers of your thoughts. This cinematic gem, born in an era that weaves nostalgia into its very fabric, serves not merely as a window to the past, but as a timeless mirror reflecting the complexities of the human psyche. As you stand at the crossroads of introspection, consider the threads that bind you to this masterpiece. What chords does it strike within your own collection of experiences and emotions? Share with us, dear connoisseur of storytelling, the fragments of memory that the collector has sewn into the tapestry of your consciousness. Was it the haunting cinematography that etched itself into the recesses of your mind? Or perhaps the exquisite interplay between protagonist and antagonist that left an indelible mark? Your reflections breathe life into the cinematic canvas, transforming a solitary viewing into a shared dialogue. In this space between fiction and reality, where narratives intertwine with the threads of our lives, your voice becomes a vital brushstroke, coloring the collective canvas of our appreciation. Let the resonance of the collector echo in the corridors of your contemplation, and as you navigate the labyrinth of your thoughts, remember that every perspective contributes to the evolving masterpiece that is our shared cinematic experience. Thank you for embarking on this introspective expedition with us. Your musings add depth to the narrative, creating a richer, more vibrant tapestry of shared memories. Until we meet again in the realm of storytelling, may your reflections be as captivating as the stories that inspire them.